Hello everyone, in this video, prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. Prepare to pray, prepare to receive prophetic declarations, prepare to long stretch in prayer tonight and let your expectations be known to God. Let your heart be opened and with faith pray these prayers that will be coming from the man of God. Stay connected as you listen. And God bless you. The way God will come through for you in this season will surprise everybody around you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say it again. The way my God will come through for you. You expect him to come this way. He will come in a way that will sign his signature upon your life. That everyone will know that there is a God that sits in heaven. Every business and every ministry that has gone under attack, every man of God whose voice is being fought by Satan, every anointing, whether in this city, in this nation, you are a man of God and the devil is fighting your voice, fighting your relevance, fighting your ministry. I come from that presence and I decree and declare that battle comes to an end now. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Hear me! Every business here, under strange attacks, you used to do well, but you don't know what suddenly happened. Sales have gone down, clients have gone down, inexplainable tragedies by the power that raised Christ from the dead that devil gives way now every parent here you don't seem to understand what is happening with your children again poor performance in school wasting your school fees they are intelligent people but something happens to them in the name of Jesus I declare deliverance for you now Please sit down. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you know, let me tell you this. When you understand the mystery of the presence of God, it is beyond the realm of anointing. No. No. You can be a career of the living presence of God. That when people come within the circumference of your person, this is not about falling down or standing up. Unconsciously, you can be in a place and when God wants to rescue a destiny, he will just make them pass close to you. Did the Bible not say the shadow of Peter? The Bible called it shadow. We know better. It's not the shadow. They came under the influence. Peter carried that presence take that presence to your office and watch what happens take that presence to your business for as long as you think I'm just a homo sapien I'm just an intellectual no you are a career of that presence that you make up your mind that I will never shake anybody or greet anybody and the person goes back and nothing changes no hear me someone comes to greet you and says good afternoon sir he shook your hand and left and he may not know what he carried all he knows is that i shook his hand and goodness and mercy began to follow me what is the mystery behind my day favor from morning rest following me and the lord will remind them that you shook one who stands in the presence please sit down it is a risk to walk outside of the shekinah the presence of god there is no guarantee for immunity the Bible is clear to us from Psalm 91 
that there are arrows that fly by day you know the thing about the arrow you don't know who shot it you just know there was an arrow if i shoot an arrow i can be from my room and yet shoot it there if i use a sword you will see the person holding the sword but an arrow can go in in battles you don't know where they come from but the presence of god can immune you can i tell you if you intend to rise if you intend to grow if you intend to manifest the influence of the kingdom please understand divine presence otherwise you will fall down one day for no reason and you probably might not be able to get up are we together if you ever think everybody will clap for you because you are rising think again we live in a world that is immersed in wickedness but in the name of Jesus that presence will rest upon you and and surround you and any arrow projected towards you that that the thick skin of that cloud will not only stop it it can reverse it back in the name of Jesus Christ the psalm is said in psalm 3 please give it to us psalm 3 verse 1 lord how they increased that trouble me hmm. many are they he says that rise up against me two many are they which say of my soul there is no help for him in god i love it i'm not going to sing it but i will recite it it says but thou O lord art a hold on he didn't say you brought a shield you are the shield yourself did the bible not tell you the name of the lord is a strong tower that you can enter and you are saved from today anyone who plots evil against you whether by witchcraft or divination whether you are asleep or awake in the name of jesus the son of the living god before you wake up judgment would have happened already please sit down now watch this in the new testament jesus gave us a very powerful illustration that while men slept it was time for sleep the bible says an enemy came certainly that enemy found access there was no covering no hindrance do you know that there is a name satan is called the thief question how many thieves will come through your gate and knock responsibly and say i came to steal the thief is a master at violating order a thief is not just one who steals he's a master at violating order a thief does not respect due process he tells you there is an adversary who does not respect due process And that cloud can cover you while you sleep and someone is making enchantments and saying, how can this person be the first to rise in this family let us conjure something that will bring him down and while they try to project you they think it's your face that will show up at, at, at that enchantment is fire that will answer right from that shrine in the name of jesus christ can i tell you this i want you to believe what i'm telling you hallelujah there are many of you listen to me just when you want to rise and move and excel here comes these arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence that waste in noonday every time you see people rise and cannot continue something is popping them hallelujah can i tell you this when the glory of god rests upon you you not only find favor you not only find rest round about 
you can be sure of your protection listen you can hold a gun to protect you your gun is only useful if your hands are not tied is that true and you can shoot and if you have the courage to shoot is that true there are certain assaults of the devil that happens so fast you will need to be immune before not during hallelujah you see by reason of what i do i'm not just glorifying satan believe me by reason of what i do this is daily i interact with people who were not covered this is the place of encounter i want you to know that this is a place where god increases your convictions this is the place of surrender do to me what you want this is the place where your life will change do to me what you want listen when the lord turn again the captivity of your family when the lord turn again the captivity of your destiny it says we were like them that dream how beautiful is it to see the other side of pain how beautiful is it to see the other side of a man's trusting God? How beautiful it is to see a man trusting God for grace. Lord, I know you still anoint men, but where is the anointing? When you see the other side of that man. How beautiful it is to see a wilderness turn into a fruitful vine and turn into a forest. I believe in miracles. I believe in the hand of God. I believe the supernatural can invade the world of men and correct and adjust things. I believe in 24 hours God can change a man's life. Listen, I believe in the law of process, but I believe in speed too. I believe God still lifts men. I believe God still uses men to make statements in a territory. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And God says, come, let me use you. Let me show men that I am still God, the lifter of men. I believe this. I believe that God is a healer. I believe he's a deliverer. I believe when men lose things they can get it back yes sir including time including time I believe that when men lose things they can get it back I believe God can anoint ordinary men men who are just available but the level of grace is not there but I know there is a place a man can come to where you encounter the power of God everywhere is not the same no God is everywhere, but he does not manifest his power everywhere. I believe in the power of God. I was sent not only to reveal his face, but to reveal his power. To let men know that he's still alive. To correct misunderstandings about God. Please listen to me. I want to charge your faith before we pray. I believe that challenges can end I believe that problems can end did you hear what I said I believe a man can sit down and search left and right and only see the goodness of God I believe it I believe it I believe prosperity is real I don't believe prosperity destroys a Christian I believe in the blessing of the Lord I believe in what it can do to your family I believe in what it can do to your children I believe in what it can do to your health I know poverty causes sickness 
I know it causes worry. Nobody will preach you into embracing nonsense. No. I believe a man can prosper even as his soul prospers. I believe in speed. I believe God can compress what should happen in five years in one month. I truly believe it. I truly believe it. I believe God can restore time. When a woman has been barren for seven years, if she gives birth to one baby, we thank God, but it's not a statement enough. When she gives birth to triplets, God took nine years of space in three, three years and compressed it in one year. Now, that's victory over time. The hardiness of the hearts of men will require some dimensions of results to break their pride to honor God. Please listen, let me tell you. We are not going to use stories and noise to get people to Jesus. Wealth is a weapon. The anointing is a weapon. Favor is a weapon. Mercy is a weapon. Wisdom is a weapon. What are you fighting with? Desire? You will not win. It takes you being equipped with the spiritual arsenals that have been made for the victory of the saints in light. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. I believe a man can weary the devil to a point where he will let you go. I believe you can live in a territory and create your own climate financially, spiritually. I believe it. Listen, out of everything I'm saying, throw away the ones you don't believe and open your heart to the ones you believe. I believe a believer can serve God better in an atmosphere of comfort. When your children's school fees are paid, you will serve God better. Don't let religion come with the pride of men and pretend that it does not matter. Yes, I know that none of these things should affect our love for God. But let me tell you the truth. There is a level of pain you continue to have that can harden your heart towards God. It takes time to know God. It takes time to serve God. And that's the time the devil does not want to give you. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around chasing money. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around lobbying a way to, lift, to be lifted. Vain is the help of man. People of God, please hear me. God did not gather us tonight to waste our time. He gathered us tonight to make real the things in our lives that pertain unto life and godliness. Can I tell you this? Whether you believe in what I said or not, it does not change the truth. The truth was buried. It took only three days. It came out. So whether you believe in the truthfulness of what is said or not, you embrace poverty and see what it does to your life and your family. Embrace mediocrity and see what it does. Embrace sickness and see how much you will spend per week. Your entire resources, when you are finally broke, then the person will die. Is that sickness? Why will it ten, take 10 years to build one house? Is that a testimony? A prostitute will sleep with a man overnight and wake up by the next day with estates and houses and everything. Let's be careful the things we say about God because many of them are not true. Please hear me, especially for our precious visitors. Don't magnify your challenges and come hoping God will change your life. We are talking God here, not a doctor, not a consultant, not an architect, not a monarch, the God of the universe. You may not be sick in your body, but who told you he cannot change your life? Do you not know he's called the father of spirits? That God can speak to a man while you are here 
and compel him to bless you. That God can give you a dimension of grace that you didn't enter this building with. And you turn back and on Sunday you climb your pulpit as usual. And suddenly fire a new dimension of grace. Do you believe in what I'm sharing? If you being evil know how to give good gifts let me tell you you can hold on to the hands of God and say it was never about your hands it was about your heart but tonight I need your hands too in addition to your heart step in over my life step in please don't give up on God wake up don't give up on God don't come here hoping I've waited waited the God of heaven can compress time If you don't believe all this there's no point being here tonight because we are going to pray and you must insist that tonight is not the night when I will clap for anybody I came to mean business with my destiny listen when we begin to pray I like you to insist that anything that does not bring glory to God in your life must leave this night no matter what it is some of you may need to rewrite your prayer request again because of your pain you've stopped writing some things you just concluded that god this one just just leave this issue no when it was time to resurrect lazarus he said roll away the stone roll away the stone prove that you believe in resurrection by rolling away the stone two things men did they rolled away the stone and they lose the man what if they lose Lazarus and they found out he was not alive or he just fell and collapsed? Your destiny must open up tonight. It's not a blessing for people to doubt. The Bible says to be diligent in these things, to prove your calling and election, to make it sure. There are things that must be in your life to validate your call and your election. If you're a man of God here, trust God for grace, for God's sake. Just go and stand before people and just open a scripture and speak and close it and say, let's pray. No. That's what the scribes did all the time. But Jesus came and opened and read the messianic prophecy. And he said, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes. They thought they would share the grace. He closed it and he told the guy with the withered hand. He said, stretch your hands. These things I write to you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Not teach alone. Do and teach. Can we pray? Please find a serious neighbor. And I like you to pray from the depth of your heart. The gift is only given to them that ask. God cannot assume you desire it. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry to the God of heaven. Outside, pray. Those following online, pray. Lord visit me Lord visit me appear to me by your word as it were in Shiloh pray over your ministry pray over your business pray over your career pray over your destiny Lord, I came that the gates be open tonight. Pray. Pray. 
pray. That devil must leave my destiny today. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Pray, pray, don't look around. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Place something upon my life, oh God. Place something upon my destiny, upon my business upon my church Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more prayer point, and the Lord will set this place on fire. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Read with me, please, if you are a believer. One, two, read. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken lord do to me as you have spoken you said many things about my life do it i've heard you but i need to see it i've heard you but i need to see it do to me as you have spoken you said i am the head and not the tail do to me you said with favor shall you encompass me as a shield do to me you said you will restore the years the canker worm has eaten do to me oh god pray do to me oh god visit my family you said you will wipe away every tears you call 2019 my year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Do to me as you have spoken. Do to me, oh God. You said I will have my child in 2019. Do to me as you have spoken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Hallelujah. Let's look up. Let's look up. I want you to receive every grace that the Lord is going to be releasing in this place. Because you see, let me tell you, every grace supplied to you is the strength to survive the squallow of any season. And if you do not obtain the requisite level of grace, for any season you will find out that your life will remain barren and unfruitful truly i came i came with all my heart tonight I, I don't want it to be a miracle service that we just play around casually please believe for something to come upon your life believe for a grace to come on your life see this thing about anoint if it's not there it's not there period very simple hallelujah praise the lord i want to pray i'll stand tonight praying on the grace for speed hold on hold on please listen there is a reason why i continue to say this many destinies are too slow to glorify God are we together now when the devil cannot keep you at a standstill then your progress will be so slow it is said I must walk the works of him while it is day that means I need to gain time it says for the night cometh when no man will walk again let me tell you my brothers and sisters there is a real grace for speed if you have not seen it is because it's not on your life there is a real grace for speed that vetoes the sentiments of men so i want to pray i want to start from there and then we just allow the lord to take us be conscious of what comes upon you be conscious of what comes upon you that's how God answers prayers he answers prayers by putting something on your life that will compel creation to begin to act in a way and a manner that will change your life are we together please lift your hands and let me pray I believe in the grace for speed I have seen a measure of that grace and I know it is true that God can shift a man I'm going to pray and release this grace and inside and outside that anointing and the anointing works let me just tell you the anointing works you will see people begin to run it's it's not anything superstitious it is just the character and the operation of that anointing we need it the Lord put it in my heart. We need it for our businesses, ministries, and so on and so forth. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now, inside and outside, I stand by the anointing of the Holy Ghost and I declare right now, at the count of three, let this grace for speed that you have provided even for this season, let it rest on people now. I release that grace take that grace now please bring them out take that grace now inside outside everywhere I activate the operation of this grace I shift your life in the name of Jesus to strength dimensions in the spirit receive the grace for speed receive the grace for receive that grace for speed in the name of Jesus and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot 
and overtook the chariots of Ahab to Israel. I command speed, 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 speed. Bring them out. Speed. Hey, labor, help that woman, please. My God. I'm still praying in the name of Jesus. It says, Ye have encompassed this mountain for too long. Turn ye not what I prophesy again. Like 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 fire from heaven. Let that grace for speed mantle a family now not just an individual let it come upon families families receive speed i shift you i shift you in the spirit new level speed speed bring them out speed you will never be the same never be the same i'm not praying for individuals now i'm praying for families any families stagnated here i stand by the power of the holy ghost and i prophesy speed inside and outside i release speed right now now the lord is that spirit he says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing chains on people's legs chains and the lord is saying the lord is bringing deliverance now i'm seeing chains if you are under this category as i'm praying now the fire of god i'm seeing fire moving but not on people's heads on people's feet i decree and declare is it not written that where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty at the count of three anyone whose destiny has been pegged by these chains i declare be free now be free now let the power of god come upon you be free now by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now I want to pray God I'm telling you I'm seeing this is I'm still seeing it chains you see let me tell you this look up look up the Bible tells us that there are many things that should happen where the Spirit of the Lord is one of it is Liberty do you know what Liberty is It's a separation between you and the obstacle that mocks God in your life there is such a thing in the dealings of God with men has given men liberty i want to pray there will be a mighty deliverance right now many of you this is what has plagued your life if it is true that victory was wrought on the cross then it's time to establish it now please listen to me just follow with the instructions be childlike in your heart and let god give you a testimony are we together now He said, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tears, sowed weed among the, I mean, among the, 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 the wheat. And he, we are going to destroy everything. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. I'm going to pray and at the count of three, I will ask you to shout that name. Right now. I don't know what kind of bondage I'm seeing this night but except God is not God you must be free right now in the name that is above all names I pray for individuals and families alike it is true that there are yokes and ordinances of darkness that have held men bound but in the name of Jesus everywhere here overflow one two three outside as you shout that name that is above all names i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of god 
in your life and family must jump out of your destiny at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command forces and go go now go now release destiny release destiny every ordinance that is not the planting of God let it go now let it go now I'm speaking by what I'm seeing in the spirit let it go now I'm seeing a vision of a man with a handkerchief wiping the tears of a woman and I know that this is, is symbolic because the woman stands for the bride, the church and I'm seeing the Bible says he will wipe away every tear I don't know what family and what person came here crying but the Bible says to comfort they that mourn I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let an anointing come upon your life now that terminates everything that brings tears that terminates everything that brings tears bring them out hallelujah young lady please shift this one you lift your hands shout Jesus as loud as you can oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh, eh. Oh, yeah, yeah, say. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, oh, yeah, yeah, say. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Yahweh. My friend lift your hands this yes you the lord is granting you the spirit of revelation i saw something come upon your eyes and the lord is saying he's taking you to dimensions of revelation let her go now now release her family now in the name of jesus please listen I, I know that we don't have time but please I want you to every time the Lord shows me this then I know that he wants me to move around I begin to see lights a similitude of angels by my left and right and is is a very is a very mysterious way that God moves to touch people when this begins to happen all I need to do is you don't have to touch me just move around your role listen to me except God is not God as he has anointed as i pass your role if there is anything that is not of god it must let you go are we together now so please you pray the moment we do that then we'll begin to minister to the sick these things are signs and wonders they are supernatural they are supernatural even by the spirit thank you jesus please I just want you to believe by faith just believe by faith and then as i pass the lord is going to touch you it will be the end of it's not something you can do anything about you are under the influence of the anointing are we together now thank you jesus
that everything that is not of God must give way in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be liberty now liberty now in the name of Jesus Madam be free I take it out of your life now the hand of God is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ receive the Lord is touching you I'm seeing God's taking something out of someone's stomach here it's going now now I release it now be free now be free now be free now in the name of Jesus be free now I'm seeing fire rising from this row just from I don't know who it is but fire is coming on someone from this row right now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Something is leaving you. I'm standing here. There is the power of the Holy Spirit is setting someone free here within this place right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus. Help that woman, please. She's holding a baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands here. Everything that must leave anyone, I declare it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please, all of you here, just lift your hands. Right now, I stretch my hands. Now, something is coming on people right here. Be free now. 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 Now! Keep praying, lift your voice. Overflow one, keep praying. Something is about to change in your life now. Please, you don't have to touch me. And I want you to help everybody close to you. As I pass, the anointing of the Spirit is touching everything that needs to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. 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 That anointing is touching you. 
right now be free be free be free be free i take it out of you right now the fire of the holy spirit right here where i'm standing right here where i'm standing the lord is taking something out of your life be free i'm standing here and the lord is saying it is over he's speaking to someone it is over an anointing is coming on you now it is over 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 madam be free now the power of god is touching someone here in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus be free be free be free be free, be free. Be free. Please help them help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves be free now in the name of jesus i declare and declare be free. be free be free be free every devil of darkness be free now. please open your heart and receive stretch my hands here anything tell be free now be free now be free now be free now in a chain a chain around here i don't know who that person is but i lose you now as i stand here i lose you now by the spirit of the living god i lose you now i lose you now hallelujah overflow one i don't know if i'm able to walk around is working now please believe it's a few minutes god is touching you you came here so that he will visit you it's impossible to not testify now please look at me overflow too i'm not going to pass in your midst i will walk right here and as i walk the power of the holy spirit will begin to touch you thank you jesus be free now be free now by the anointing of the holy spirit now 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 be free i take away every reproach i take away every reproach you can't stand it no it's impossible it's impossible we're talking of the anointing here every reproach go now every reproach go now every reproach go now i stretch my hands here go now go now every reproach Every reproach, go now, go now. I release your destiny. All of you standing here and passing now. The power of God is coming on you. Be free. No. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk around. I may not go row by row. Please let your heart be open. Please. Except God is not God whatever it is that has held you as i pass by the spirit the power of god comes on you some of you will be receiving impartation it's not everybody that is going to just be free from whatever it is father in the name of jesus honor your word right now in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus right now be free. i may not be able to move but Please lift your hands all of you at the count of three overflow three let me hear you shout the name jesus the moment you shout that name i'm seeing like i'm seeing like fire coming out of people this is something living people are you ready now one two three be free now be free now be free now be free now from the front to the be free now in the name of Jesus I release your destiny now I release your destiny now madam look at me I set her free now release her destiny right now that woman you are holding in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus 
listen I declare to you I, I release speed inside I want to pray that prayer now I don't know what has slowed you down overflow three from the front to the back may the grace for speed come on you now may the grace for speed come on you now please whether you are an usher or not whether you are an usher or not help anybody under the anointing close to you in the name of jesus i don't know what has held your destiny bound but in the name of jesus one more time i want you to shout the name jesus at the count of three one two three be free now be free now you came for a miracle service hallelujah hallelujah please look at me overflow three look at me hallelujah the lord is showing me a family i will soon walk out but i just want you to know you are part of the and that it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside the lord is showing me a family here there is a plague of sickness everybody from father to the last child there is nobody who is fine right now as i'm speaking the power of god is coming upon that family right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ overflow three i'm seeing the number 21 this is the healing anointing coming on 21 people right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands this is not a healing miracle this is the anointing to heal right now from the front to the back upon gentlemen and upon ladies receive that grace receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now please everyone overflow one two three main auditorium please open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit and declare that everything the lord is doing must find expression in your life Lift your voice and pray. moving listen let me tell you the truth i want you to believe believe that god will step in and turn your life around hallelujah turn your life around from the back right to the center i'm seeing the power of god come on someone now from the back right to the center from the back right to the center please bring them out right now now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an angel of the lord is still standing here I'm still seeing this road right now it's like smoke just moving across right now from the top to the back please bring them out an end comes God is stepping in to locate people by his spirit remember the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty 
I command every oppression of darkness. I want to pray now. I see fire in this place. This is what I'm seeing. By the spirit of the God. And listen. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. That every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ. Responsible for any challenge and any predicament. It must let you go now. Inside and outside, online. Are you ready? Father, let there be deliverance right now. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I curse every power. Bring them out right now. Every oppression of darkness. It must go now. It must go now. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, oh yeah, yeah, say, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Please bring them out quickly. I'm still praying. The Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit. I'm seeing a padlock and I'm seeing what looks like a key about to open it at the count of three again you're going to shout that name I see opening opening doors that have been closed are you ready now one two three be open now every closed door be open now be open now be open now Close doors over families. Close doors over ministries. Close doors over destinies. I decree and declare, be open. Be open now. Bring them out, please. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three across the road online be free now hallelujah i'm seeing i'm seeing like stones in a vision one two three four five and i'm seeing like a strange fire these are representations of altars. Listen, there are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let fire from heaven liberate that family right now. One two three be free right now be free right now be free right now in the name of jesus we blot out handwritings we blot out handwritings bring them out i cause altars yokes of darkness ordinances speaking against the people of god Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh hey. Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah 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 Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say hallelujah i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing the hand of god go to the eastern states the eastern states right now god is bringing deliverance the east abia anambra states 
Enugu State, Epoi State. I'm seeing an anointing right now. Rest on people within that state. Let there be liberty right now. Let there be liberty right now. You belong to that state. The power of God is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. I'm seeing the map. The east. God is bringing liberty. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the map again. I'm seeing an arrow. And I'm seeing it go to Benway. Benway State. Right now I stretch my hands. Benway, Benway. That anointing you are from that state. Any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now. Must let you go right now. This is by the authority of the kingdom. Benway State. Benway State. Liberation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release their destinies right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front. There are two families God wants to set free right now within this circumference. I'm seeing fire coming upon them right now. Bring them out right now by the spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Things must change in your life. My friend, this young man, lift your hands where you are. There is oil being poured on your head right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head. Let it go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let him go now. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Fire is still falling here. I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women. An entity comes to molest you in the night. You go to bed and a strange spirit just comes. Right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is asking me to just count two. And at the count of two, that fire is coming on people right now. One, two. Let that fire come now. Liberation from ordinances of darkness. Every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny. Be free now. All those in front here, I decree. The power that holds you. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, go. Leave them now. Release their destinies. Right now. Let there be restoration. Everything that has been stolen from hell, I command a restoration by the spirit of the living God. By the spirit of grace. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything that must leave your life, insist it must leave your life now. The angel of the Lord is removing arrows i'm seeing arrows arrows coming out of people that's what i'm seeing arrows 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 right now right here arrows arrows go now arrows are being removed out of people in the name of jesus madam be free right now be set free now
the Lord is setting someone free here right now someone in this room I'm seeing fire just resting on someone be free right now in the name of Jesus everything that has held you bound be free right now be free right now be free right now be free right now in the name of Jesus be free right now be free right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus those outside keep praying something is resting upon you right now the Lord asked me to come to overflow one I want to pray for you there is an anointing right now I stretch my hands fire from the front to the back everyone under any kind of yoke right now as I'm passing be free be free help them please out now release their destinies release their destinies now please help them whether you are an usher or not help them that yoke must let you go now that yoke must let you go now I'm passing this road right now once I pass you the anointing of the Holy Ghost is taking everything that is not of God release them now release their destinies now release their destinies now let that fire rest upon you right now everything that has refused to open be open now be open now be open now be open now close doors be open now be open now now listen overflow two i may not touch you but in the name of jesus i pass your role except god is not god if there is anything sitting on your destiny it must let you go right now be free be free i bring you the anointing of the holy ghost be free now open up your gates your gates gates be open destiny be open now be open in the name of jesus be open now in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus fire is resting on this road just right here i'm seeing someone the oppression of your family is coming to an end right now i stand by this grace karis kobaru katosh help her please anyone here anything that is not of god sitting on your destiny right now at the count of three all of you just i'm seeing fire right now and i'm seeing chains broken from people's legs right now be be set free now be set free now be set free now be set free now there is a lady here god is saying it is over right now i'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now help them please whether you're an usher or not please if anybody's falling close to you so they don't injure themselves hallelujah please shift that lady be free now i'm pointing my hands to her i command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now in the name of Jesus Christ begin to pray begin to pray overflow three pray pray overflow three something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now overflow three i came with an anointing at the count of three shout jesus fire is falling from the top to the bottom one two three go 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 now every yoke every altar be free now bring them out whether you are an usher or not bring them out every oppression of darkness right to the back i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit be free now be free now bring them out I'm seeing all kinds of spirits I command every spirit that is not of the Christ release God's people right now at the count of three I'm seeing fire resting on people and I'm seeing a number 41 41 people at the count of three shout Jesus are you ready one two 
three shout Jesus right now be free by the fire of the Holy Ghost be free right now every door that has refused to open I open that door right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there are 27 people here the grace for speed is coming upon them I don't know who you are but right now the grace for speed I stand by the anointing from the front to the back right now in the name of Jesus receive that anointing right now speed I release speed over your life over your destiny receive speed in the name of Jesus speed in the name of Jesus hallelujah overflow three hear me there are people here the lord is telling me no one rises in your family when they get to a level something brings them bow and the lord is saying i should shift you by prophecy i stand right now i don't know where they are but the anointing of the holy ghost is going to come upon you right now in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number 17 lord i don't know where they are here but in the name of jesus I declare move to the next level right now I shift you to the next level right now I shift you to the next level right now hallelujah I'm looking at 14 people here you have the call of God upon your life and right now the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to locate you 14 people Lord where are they I stretch my hands right now apostles prophets evangelists pastors Deborahs Lord where are they let that man to locate you now the call of destiny that is upon you oh prophet of God may that fire find you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there are 15 people here overflow three the spirit of revelation is coming on you unusual insight I don't know where they are but right now I'm seeing light not fire light light coming on people 15 people step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace right now in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord main auditorium please lift your hands main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people main auditorium lift your hands I'm seeing seven people the grace for speed I'll pray it on everybody but the main auditorium there is a grace for unusual speed on seven people they will begin to run by the anointing right now please hold them so they don't injure themselves main auditorium I stretch my hands at the count of three like Elijah may that grace come one two three receive that grace right now in the main auditorium step into the anointing for speed in the name of Jesus overflow three lift your hands every door that has refused to open over your ministry over your life held down by witchcraft in the name that is above all names at the count of three I'm seeing doors open in the spirit one two three let that door be open now be open now be open now the Lord wants to avert death over a family this year alone between last year and this year four people have died in your family four people have died and in the name of Jesus Christ 
an anointing is coming upon you right now let death be averted now in the name of Jesus now listen all of you at overflow three and the extension there whatever must live your life as I'm passing this place please I am releasing my faith open your mouth now and declare Lord it must live my life now go ahead go ahead pray please all those in front here the spirit that ties your destiny I command at the count of three let them go now one two three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies make sure you are praying make sure you are praying the power of God is resting on someone here there's an anointing coming on someone right here in the name of Jesus there's an anointing coming on someone here and the Lord is saying it comes to an end that family crisis comes to an end the power of God is resting on someone by my left here right now receive that anointing let it go in Jesus name Be free right now in Jesus name the power of God is resting on someone here right here I'm seeing an anointing right now it's a prophetic grace there's someone here a prophetic grace is coming upon you right now by my left here in the name of Jesus drink of that anointing drink of that fountain may that grace rest upon your life right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Lord says it is over over right now by the power of the Holy Spirit look at me my friend the Lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit I lay my hands on you drink of that grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm seeing what looks like smoke just this region where I'm where you're looking at me right now there are four people I'm seeing the power of God like a wind just coming on them just this road right now Lord where are they I stretch my hands right now right now the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on those people and the Lord is saying it is over he's taking away captivity four of you by the spirit of grace let it be over right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there is a family here marriage does not happen in that family but I'm seeing fire rest right now the embargo is being broken now the embargo is being broken whoever those people are an anointing is coming on you now for the sake of your family that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now is breaking right now in the name of Jesus please lift your voice and pray everybody pray in the spirit pray in the spirit there is one of you among those standing here there is a call of God upon your life an anointing is coming upon you you will be mightily used by God where is that person spirit of the living God the hand of God just near the gate here the power of God is coming upon that person right now a new dimension in the spirit the eyes that see and the ears that hear may you step into that level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ my friend touch this gentleman for me lift your hands I stretch my hands over you I command I'm seeing chains all over your body I command those chains to give way now in the name of Jesus release him now let him go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I cut those chains I'm seeing chains from your head to your toe let me pray for those here please all of you right here I'm the Lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence I'm seeing snakes and I'm seeing five people there is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now in the name of Jesus may the anointing of the Holy Spirit locate those ones now five of you right now these spirits my God my God I'm seeing something living right now release them now release no matter how long release them now it is written that even the lawful captives shall be delivered I declare emancipation now by the Spirit of the Living God You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? 
I want to pray for you. The spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have. Seeing dead people. Is that true? You have dreams and... Too much, yes. The Lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now. I declare in the name of Jesus. Be by the power of the Holy Spirit. The... There, is, there is someone here. Hi. Academic delay over your family is breaking right now. I just please don't be carried away acting this thing. I shunnedly to help people experience God. I'm praying. I don't know where that family is, but now scattered in this congregation, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit family right now. I'm seeing a family here. None of you has a job. None of you. There are even a few graduates but nobody at all it's like the doors of jobs don't open right now you're going to sense fire come up your hands real physical fire and the lord is saying by that help them by that that embargo is broken lord i i declare right now let the anointing of the holy spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit please begin to pray in the spirit don't say you are not inside God can locate you from any direction. God can locate you from any direction. Bring me this lady, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, delay ends in your life. I stretch my hands and I pray. Delay, help her. The Lord is taking away witchcraft from this family. I command that devil, go now. See, it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside. Just release your faith. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Be free right now. My friend, the call of God is upon your life. That it, is coming upon you. It's a healing anointing. I stretch my hands. May that grace begin to work effectually. Now, step into that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Among all of you from here to here, the grace for speed is coming on two people. Listen. Those two people will start running now. Please hold them. Hold them so they don't enjoy themselves. That anointing right now. All across. Two you can't control yourself. Hold them please. Whether you are an usher or I release that grace. Speed. Two people. Strange speed. God is ending delay right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing two of you. A prophetic anointing. You are not prophets. But you have been desiring this grace. The grace to see from here right to where that lady with the veil is. I don't know where they are but I stretch my hands. May that anointing find you right now. Accuracy of sight. and Help them, help them please. Help them please. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. An angel of the Lord is taking away reproach. There is a family here. The Lord is saying the captivity ends now. An anointing is coming upon you right now. It's now. In the name of Jesus. Someone here, is it your sister has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Who is that? Listen, where where is she? At home. Yes. Uh, uh, what of you? Come. How long? Who has had three miscarriages? She did. Three miscarriages. Go and tell her she will have a baby girl. That the Lord is giving her a baby girl. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you both. In the name of Jesus, let it come to an end right now. Let that captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, there's someone here, your family has a court case. Who is that, please? Court case. Don't make sure you don't tell us, please. They want to kill you because of what? What did you do? What did you do? Hold on, I have to. Where are you from? 
Where is that? I have to pray for you. You have bad friends. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Eh? You have very bad friends. Bad friends. You need to be delivered. This is not even your whole life. Eh? You know what I'm saying, right? You need to repent. Eh? Listen. When I make an altar call, run and come. Because the real salvation is you. It's not the issue of court case of this. You, you have friends that are criminals. And we have to pray. You hear what I'm saying? God is locating you to help you. Listen, let me tell you, my dear people, hear me. When God locates us like this, is because he wants to help hey, There's somebody here. Your name is Sarah. Where is that person? Sarah. Hold on, please. Don't, don't. Let me just prophesy. I, I, my heart is full. God wants to visit people. Stand up. Who is Sarah? Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? No, no. We're state of origin. I want to pray for you. Who is Godia? Yeah. Godia. The Lord wants to visit you right now. Acting God truly wants to change your life. I want to pray for you whose mother is in the hospital I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital here your mom come I'm seeing that down in Portacot what uh, yes I Portacot you came from Portacot go on I'm going to pray for do I know you I've never seen you I want to pray for you. God is turning your situation up. It's, as you are standing, let your heart be open. Your people may be far. Don't ever think. I'm just because I come outside like this to encourage you, to let you know that you must not make it inside. You win. Are we together? The power of God is going to come upon you. A loud shout. That will be the person I'll prophesy to right now in just those outside here. It's not something you can stand. This is a sign and a wonder from the Spirit of God. That's not the shout. The shout is coming. It's a loud shout. Please bring the person when that happens. That's the shout. Bring the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, lift your hands. Jesus, come. Do you? What are you doing? What do you do? of God your own church you are assisting someone you came here not just to receive a miracle for your mother but you came to take fire stand up why you came listen to me you are going to go back and you will step into a dimension signs and wonders that will surprise you Sarah in the name that is above all names every oppression over your family i come against it right now i'm still hearing that name godia who is that hold on please hold on where are you from huh you are from Kat saminaka hold on please your sister blood sister same father same mother you've been praying for god to locate you it's okay you hi the spirit of death is over your family huh? that's what i'm saying i'm seeing you dreaming and dreaming of dead people they will come and they are calling you sometimes they are saying you should eat together this is the spirit of death coming on the family but in the name of jesus i use them as a point of contact if there is anybody under the sound of my voice that the spirit of death is coming upon you help her i caught spirit now name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a family money does not stay in your house no matter what happens once resources enter you love God but resources something must happen either sickness or they will steal it or something will come up I'm seeing what looks like a blue flame and it's resting on at least five people and the Lord is saying an end comes to financial hardship father where are they right now I stretch my hands let that anointing locate you right now 
in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and begin to pray my friend your hands shout Jesus as loud as you can an end comes now in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and pray in the spirit everyone my dear look at me I command that spirit to leave you now of darkness must let you go in Jesus name lift your voice and pray everyone please pray pray in the spirit pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit pray in the spirit everyone madam help this woman so that she doesn't fall with it I command everything that is not of God to let you go now release this woman's destiny now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oppression leaves right now someone here there is a spirit that has oppressed your family it must go now I command that devil of darkness help her please that spirit must leave now in the name of Jesus please everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit God is visiting us right now one media person here there is an anointing resting on someone the Lord is bringing to end the captivity on your family I'm seeing it by the Spirit of God captivity coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus let it end now by the Spirit of the Living God let it end now in the name of Jesus my friend I'm seeing what, what looks like a towel on you and the Lord is wiping away infirmity in the name of Jesus infirmity let it go right now please make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the spirit of death there is a family here that spirit must go now the spirit of death release them now in the name of Jesus release them now release them now the spirit of death there will be no obituary I command that devil to go now so you find out that negative things are happening around your family every time money comes everybody becomes sick till the money goes down just calling a family meeting is not a way of solving it alone. you go back at least for tonight I am a spirit body I'm not going to be deceived by what is happening you need to get into that decision room that boardroom in the spirit what is going on over my destiny within that boardroom if you don't plant anything in a farm something will still grow because you are not the only farmer around your farm the bible says while men slept another farmer who was waiting for them to sleep do not believe you are the only farmer over your destiny there is a devil waiting there to put seed so you go to bed and reap a harvest you can't remember sowing no i can't reap what i did not participate in this it's against the law of god i should reap what i sow ah but do you not know that your ignorance is also a farmer it can sow ignorance can sow ephesians 4 and verse 18 having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them that ignorance can alienate you please hear me we are going to pray that it be done in earth as it is in heaven so god created me i'm not just an engineer or a doctor don't be deceived by the geography of your assignment don't be deceived by male or female all those things do not matter in the realm of the spirit God separated a man to become male and female simply because he wanted to act out a dimension of his love I hope you know both male and female are dimensions of God he separated them to achieve two reasons one procreation so that they will fill the earth but number two so that they will be the clearest example of the relationship between God and man so if you don't study women there is a dimension of God you will never know 
no wonder both them and the Holy Ghost are called helpers I deserve dinner for this good this good word <laughs> listen to me listen to me I didn't come from a region where physically speaking there was any advantage as far as ministry is concerned sincerely but I knew that living my life to chance I would be a frustrated man of God and one day you have to ask me and say he didn't really call you brothers and sisters I came to show you something tonight I know you have been praying but remember the speaking is only when light comes when you just speak because you had someone speak help that guy under the anointing please your speaking makes no sound in the realm of the spirit until light because it is in his light that we see light and when we now see that light then we can speak we can command I am not just a man I look like a man you see a man but this is only a host the spirit man has exclusive contact with the realm of the spirit where realities are stored this is the warehouse of possibilities and by this agency called prayer the Bible gives us the privilege to select the possibilities we want to see manifest prayer is many things among them the opportunity that god gives you to go to the warehouse yourself but who shall ascend i will say and then he came down to you the word of god is his possibilities coming down to you so that there's no more complaint i cannot go to heaven to find out what is there this bible is a compendium of god's commitments to you that if you find any truth there God is committed the word of God is the boundary of his commitment to the believer that is not all he can do but that is all he has defined he cannot come to you beyond the boundary of scripture so I find here that I am the head and not the tail I find here that I am above and not beneath but I'm the only one reading it. The person looking at me is not reading it and it's not even interested. It is left for me to activate the possibilities that compel them to do what the word of God has said. And one of the key for tonight is prayer. That prayer is not just an activity of exerting effort so that you will feel spiritual. Uh-uh. Prayer is not just a way of trying to manage guilt or feeling like you are not being serious with God. The urgency is more than that. That every time you pray, many things happen. One of it is you give an opportunity for the Holy Ghost to search the mind of the Father. And when he searches the minds of the Father, he will open the file where the archives of your destiny is. And because you have now been joined to him, that he that is joined to the spirit is one are we bible people so the holy spirit can come and begin to reveal to you the things that pertain to your destiny you are in need of spiritual power because you need it in ministry and while you pray the holy ghost he knows where the power is taught it is in his office and he will draw that power and bring that power on a mortal man you were born of a woman with no capacity for supernatural things but you now engage a mystery that turns you into a sign and a wonder do you know you can change your job change your boss change the outcome in your life the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen 
but the things that are unseen so we can look at things unseen they are unseen not unreal unseen for the things that are seen are temporal you went to school temporal means subject to change under a certain condition not every condition rejoice not over me i have found a key that changes my outcomes so while i may look like a weak helpless person with no helper i know how to call them calling them physically is a burden they don't even know they are my helpers so i go to that place where my spirit can make contact with the father and then from that light i declare those who have been apportioned to help my destiny while i'm praying the holy ghost goes around port Harcourt looking for them because he's called the father of spirits every spirit is under his authority listen please hear me do you believe what i'm sharing with you one of the major assignment of angels as for that kind of childishness angels begin to work when you are serious about programming your destiny their assignment is to make her execute what god said they execute what you have believed that god said i came here tonight to do two things one to open you up to the fact that you are not just a body please find a way of understanding this you are not just a body waiting for situations and circumstances or waiting for a preacher to pray for you there is a place for that but that you are you are shortchanging the advantage of your duality you are not taking advantage of it that God invested this strategy in man so that every time the earth wants to fail you you compel it to obey you can I tell you this the earth has never been disobedient it was only designed to respond to certain sounds there was something Noah did and he stood close to his ark and all the animals started coming Noah never went to look for them if you know that thing whatever he did you too you can stand and begin <laughs> listen hold on the animals did not come one by one they came two by two so that there will be continuity of that result male and female to ensure that that result reproduces because when it happens only once it is not favor no that's breakthrough the proof that is favor is that it is consistent regardless of the human participators so whether you are in lagos or abuja or potakot the outcome should be the same you will think i'm boasting i am not human beings are simply actors the script writer is you so don't tell me it's because i'm staying here nobody wants to help me in portacourt because i was not born here is the obvious answer not the right one when i found this i knew i found my way so the advantage of participating with the realm of the spirit in prayer can provide me an advantage to remedy what my background see it is based on this that the bible says for we know the rest may not know because they don't know what we are made of but the holy spirit has educated us enough to know for we know that all things work together they may not start together but eventually work together 
the pain should not be in the equation but since it has now come there is still a way of making it useful in the oh this is god for you one of the things that makes a chef a chef is the ability to use anything to make sense are we are we together now yes god is like that so what should not have been in the equation if it does come he says no problem it's all right there is still a technology in my wisdom that i can still work it out to make sure that it becomes for your good why because you love the lord and you are the called according to his purposes so tonight we are going to change things in this place in the next five to ten minutes we are going to rewrite things we are going to end circles now listen listen i know you have been praying but now your pastor called for this solemn assembly to open you up to the futility of the flesh and this physical realm outside of the assistance of heaven please hear me everyone who is a worker here hear me your lot is in your understanding not your office your portion is not in your office it's in the realm of the spirit so an attack on your prayer life satan is not interested in your prayer he's only interested in anything that will cut you from participating in the realm of the spirit and since he found out that prayer is one of them he's attacking it satan does not care about your prayer no he only cares about that connection when we pray we are not being religious when we pray we engage angels we engage the holy spirit he begins to search the mind of the father what is supposed to happen in her life between november and december 2020 the holy ghost is searching the mind of the father oh she's supposed to have received the restoration you will think i'm joking until your life begins to testify in strange ways This meeting you are seeing now has been finished long in the realm of the spirit so when i'm praying i'm speaking over you i'm not creating something new no i'm merely transporting a reality that has been well discussed with god that this is how you are going to invade these people's lives and turn their lives around that's why he brought you from wherever you were it's proof that a discussion was happening in the spirit listen when you understand this go back this night wake up in the night put your office files on the floor shalaska kabaranta. i speak favor in the name of jesus i am bula hefziba the delight of the lord when you are done on monday morning dress well pick your file go to the office already angels are there because you send them already the holy ghost is there find a way of believing what i'm saying tonight listen 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 when you go back home and everybody is lamenting don't feel bad but don't join them again you came for a conference that has educated you listen things are not going well in this family the pandemic has made things bad and suddenly you remember the message and you say please excuse me for the next two hours and you step into your inner chambers and say i am not just a mere human being there is the duality of my being the advantage of priesthood you begin to mention your loved ones by name i speak favor in the name of jesus i command open doors they are loving jesus and while you are making these declarations hear me how it will happen the dynamics is none of your business leave it to the artistry and the wisdom of the spirit
hear me when you pray favor upon your life don't pray and say god use my uncle that's 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 fake prayer there are 7.2 billion actors for this movie don't limit the producer's capacity leave him to decide time for things to change in my life it's time for things to change in my family listen 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 help that lady I command that spirit to leave now a time will come listen ah I wish I had time listen a time will come when you are so into your priesthood your words and your thoughts begin to pray so even when your words are silent your thoughts keep praying the bible says god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so your thinking is also a prayer warrior you can get to a point where even when you are done praying physically the prayer still continues so before you even say it your thought has already placed it as a request hallelujah that you get to a point in your life where if in 24 hours no one favors you you'll go on a retreat because you ask a question what happened to the harvest from the seeds I've sown. Hallelujah. Please give me five minutes and we're done with today's service. We're going to be praying and while we're praying, two things will happen here. Number one, that if at all any chain followed you here, except God is not God, here at House on the Rock, Portacot, that as you pray those chains, must fall that tomorrow by tomorrow morning you will not even be able to testify you will stand here and wonder the god that doeth wonders is someone ready to pray lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit come on house on the rock faith we understand that the worlds were made framed by the word of god pray you are commanding power in the realm of the spirit Program realities over your destiny. Program realities over your life. Arise, shine for your light is come. Even the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Outside, make sure you are praying at the overflows. Those online, make sure you are praying. Determine the outcome of your destiny. You are a priest unto God. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Unctions are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight. For the kings to arise. For revival to return, for the kings to be born, 
for revival to return. Yeah. Ali, Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, Ali, yo. Hallelujah. Two weeks ago, I had an encounter with the Lord. And I usually am careful talking about encounters. And I've met many saints, many, many of the saints, the patriarchs, some in the Bible and some in modern history. And I was led to a room in the spirit. And then I placed my hand on a jar of oil. And when I placed my hand on that jar of oil, the Lord spoke to me and said, You are entering the next season of your apostolic mission upon the earth. He said, I will empower you with greater grace for signs, wonders, miracles. To reveal Jesus, to bring life to that which is dead. That encounter was so real, shifted to new dimensions. And so tonight, more than the miracles, the signs and the wonders, I want you to discern. Because whatever he gives Jacob, it is because of Israel. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Tonight we are going to start with an impartation. There is an impartation. There are unique graces the Lord sent me with. The church in Zaria needs an introduction of certain dimensions of grace. One of it is discernment. There is a grace. I stretch my hands. Please bring all those people out. Many of you, some of you are already in ministry. There is the spirit of discernment. I stretch my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, shift your people. Shift your people to dimensions of discernment. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you the grace for discernment. Where are my people? Take that grace. 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 The grace for discernment. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you the grace to understand the speakings of the Spirit. Per time, per season, per time, per season. Those following online, receive that impartation. In the name of Jesus, the days that we live in will require discernment. Strong meat, the Bible says, belong to them who are mature, full of age, who by reason of use have exercised their senses to discern. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. All of you who head churches, prayer groups, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Fresh discernment for the season. Take that anointing. Fresh discernment for your ministries, for your groups, for your churches. Overflow one, overflow two, three by the road. Those following online, drink of this grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Gentlemen, where are you coming from? 
Do we have another mic? Is it working? What do you have to do with Lagos? I just I came from Dubai to Lagos. From Dubai to Lagos? Yes, sir. You are coming from Lagos. There is a grace that you are going to carry. Huh? And you will never be the same again. I stretch my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come on you. Take that grace. Walk wonders with it. Whether it's in Lagos, Dubai, in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Number two. The second grace that must fall upon this place is the grace for prophetic intercession. There are men and women that must arise. That's how revival came to this city. I stretch my hands. Ordinary people who may not even be in ministry. Zaria, hear me. Take the grace for prophetic intercession. The grace to travel. The grace to pray. To pray the betting of true apostolic and prophetic revival. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Two of you hold your hands. You and this man on green. Two of you, lift your hands. I'm seeing an anointing coming on you. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Step into new levels in the spirit. New dimensions of authority. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. Father, the role I have to play in this end time move of the Spirit, I obtain grace. I obtain grace. Someone pray. Not just in Zaria, across the nations. The role that I have to play, I obtain grace. I obtain grace. It says, Lo, I come as it is written of me in the volume of the book. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The third grace that must rest on people is the restoration of the healing anointing. Listen, listen, let me tell you this. Honestly speaking, there are few people who have truly seen the healing anointing at work. I know there are testimonies, but the Spirit of God spoke to me towards the end of last year. That on earth there is a restoration of the healing ministry. Like a ministry. The healing ministry. There are few men on earth who are truly working in the healing ministry. And this is not only happening in Zaria. All across Africa. All across the globe. The Spirit of God is hovering around the horizon looking for a people that are available enough to carry that grace. Where is the mantle that was on T.L. Osborne? Who did it fall on? Where is the mantle that was on Reinhard Bonke? Who did it fall on? Where is the mantle that was on Charles and Francis Hunter? Who did it fall on? I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and I stretch my hands towards you. Father, the men and women that must carry this healing grace for this region. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Let there be a pattern of that hunger. Contact the grace for the healing ministry. Contact the grace for the healing ministry.
ministry. I am victorious. I have overcome it. I am victorious. I An impartation is a transference of possibilities so that you have something you did not come with. The grace that is required for the season. Now listen to me. I want to pray a prayer before we begin to minister to the sick. Please look at me. Every move of God, no matter how spectacular, there are always apostolic and prophetic leaders. Listen to me. By leaders, I don't just mean those who head ministries. No. There are men who are like watchmen. They are kept at strategic prophetic locations and given the eyes that see and the ears that hear so that they can help regulate the activity of the kingdom. There are some of you inside and outside. That office and that ministry, God is handing over to you. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Everyone who by the election of grace will eventually play this role in your group, in your state, in your nation. At the count of three, I pray, may that grace, may the unction that backs that office, that call, let it come upon you now. One, two, three, take that grace. 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 Let the angels assigned to that office follow you. Let the backing made for that office follow you in the name of Jesus. Listen, I'm sensing in my spirit before we begin to pray and release miracles and deliverances, there needs to be, listen to me, there is a spirit that has been fighting the prophetic ministry in Zaria and in this region. Many of you are truly called to the prophetic, but the maturity to receive with clarity. So many visions that don't come to pass many compromised perceptions and it has brought a lot of misleading to people and it has made others to mislead others it doesn't mean you are evil when the devil saw the birthing of a strong prophetic grace he began to corrupt it because when a heart is sincere and open you need to be sound in doctrine to operate in the prophetic if you are not sound in doctrine you will see things, you will hear things, and not deciphering them from the intelligence of scripture. You will mislead yourself and mislead others. When people become prayerful, there is a side effect to it. The side effect is that their organs of interacting with the realm of the spirit is heightened and open. That means they will see and they will hear. And if your prophetic gift is not exalted or the word of God is not exalted above it, Satan will easily steal into your sincerity. So we have people confused, directed by men and women who today they are right, tomorrow they are wrong, today they say this. 
I want to pray for a grace that purifies the prophetic ministry. A dealing of the spirit that once again let's have authentic prophetic voices. Voices that say, Thus saith the Lord, and it is thus saith the Lord. I stretch my hands. Oh God of my covenant, I pray, find men and women who must drink of this grace with the purity that comes with the grace. Take that grace right now. I ignite fire on your prophetic altar. I ignite fire on your prophetic altar. In the name of Jesus, a gift that is balanced with doctrine and understanding of scripture. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a mighty move of God that will begin to happen in secondary schools in this city. It once happened for those of you who have been here long enough. But let me tell you what killed it. And you hear me. What killed the move of God among these young folks is inaccurate mentorship. That's what killed it. Because many of them began to manifest dimensions that they did not understand and sincerely went to people who they felt would guide them and they began to teach them favoritism, competition, segregation of others in the body. They began to fight denominations and some of these young boys, some of them are you people now and you see the aberrated growth. Every true move of God brings love, character, humility, honor. But once again, I've seen this, that the fire of God, there is a covenant God has with this city. And once again, these secondary schools you see. But here is the mistake. And all of you who will be in a position to help these young ones, don't destroy them and make it look like they will not be used by God. No. Joash was age 8 when he became king. Josiah age 9. He told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child. Don't despise those graces. And don't be intimidated by the graces. See, true fatherhood does not seek exclusivity. True fatherhood derives his joy from the lifting of others. Superstar Christianity has died or has finished. The desire to be exclusive is a very demonic, lost, flesh-driven desire. So we must guide these people. They will start coming with visions. They will start coming with encounters. They will start coming with revelations of the Spirit. Like Samuel running to Eli. Some of you, they will reveal dimensions you are not already walking in. And yet God will mandate that you help them. Don't allow your flesh get in the way that you kill the grace of these people because you are intimidated. Number two, there is a move of God that will sweep across the youth groups of churches in this city. It is something that God will do globally, but there is a major, regardless of the denomination, youth groups in churches will begin to catch fire in dimensions. It will come with a lot of persecution. A lot of persecution. But let the young people not dishonor the fathers because of what God is doing. No. When you fight a father, whether you are right or wrong, you are judged. Some of the fathers may be ignorant. Some of them, respectfully speaking, may be walking in the flesh. But the endurance, the stamina you have, God can use everything good or bad to be part of your making process. You must endure hardship like a faithful soldier of Christ. Number three, I'm not a prophet of doom, but we must pray. I have seen an onslaught of darkness. 
that is coming across the regions. The first time I saw this was in 2018 in a vision of the Lord that he revealed to me. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ in this city is the restraining power over evil. And when the devil wants to launch an arsenal of, of an onslaught, what he will do is to make those who are strong become weak. Then he will make those who are weak become vulnerable. Are we together now? And the sword of the spirit that should be used to fight the warfare of faith will now be used against churches, against denominations. And while all of that is happening, Satan comes to sow seeds. That's why I said the unity of the body is important. It's a mystery how God has kept peace and tranquility in this city with the antecedents and with the history. Towards the end of last year, I was told again and again that they began to kidnap people, attack people and all of that. And I'm not the only one in this city, but I felt a sense of responsibility. And I said, in the name of Jesus, the elements of the supernatural were designed as systems of advantage for the believers. And every true apostolic grace is territorial. We must pray for the peace of Jerusalem. He said, they shall prosper who love you. And we must give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem as a praise. This is when the intercessors should arise. Give me tea and bread is not it. Father, we fortify the spiritual border of this territory. For the sake of kingdom come. That must be the prayer. Are we blessed? Let's pray for the sick now. Our time is gone. Goodness. Even if we do this in 10-15 minutes, I think tonight was, was worth it. Listen, if God is calling you into ministry, understand that ministry is a serious business. It's not just about pulpit. No. Here is my heart, my mind. Lord, my my head. That's the price to be used by God. It's yours. One more time. Sing. Here is my heart, my mind. Lord, is my life, my everything. Say it I want to minister deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why deliverance? Because demons are real. Forces of darkness are real. They truly are real. And they have a singular assignment to spy upon the liberty of the saints. To sabotage the purposes of God. To fight the faith and the joy of the saints. It says... Hitherto you have not asked for anything. He says, ask that you will receive. To the end that your joy may be complete. There are elements of wickedness that are behind the tragic occurrences in the lives of people. And whilst God's ultimate desire for, is for us to eventually be fortified through the revelation of the word. So that our arsenal is so strong that there is no need for these assaults. But until then, we must remain midwives to see to it that everybody who is under the yoke of darkness experiences the delivering power of Jesus Christ. Upon Mount Zion, he said, there shall be deliverance, then holiness, then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I want to pray for you. There is a name. Some of you came here with challenges. You came here with all kinds of oppressions. When we minister to people by the Spirit, it's not just some show to scatter people up and down. No, no, not at all. It is for your freedom. You heard what the dear lady said. There are spirits behind the occurrences of people. And he has sent us as carpenters. I want to pray for you now. Inside and outside. That every force that is not of God is about to let you go.
I'm seeing a cloud over overflow one. And several deliverances are happening now. Bring the people out. Just overflow one. There is a mighty move of the spirit in overflow one. I'm seeing light. Just bring them here. We will shout hallelujah. We will shout praise the Lord. We will dance in the spirit and rejoice forevermore. Our is turning things around. of people with rings on them. This represents a legal access that the devil has over your family. But the Bible says even the lawful captive shall be delivered. In the name of Jesus I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Every family here in bondage right now let fire by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I declare deliverance right now. Deliverance right now. Every family every family every family be released now every family be released now every yoke yokes of ancestry forces of darkness against families be delivered now there is no place for you tonight the bible says and there was no more place for him in heaven there was no more place for him in heaven no more space for the activity of darkness over your life your family your ministry hear me listen look up please there are forces that fight the advancement of people you see people moving and getting old but nothing is moving in their life there are chains that tie down the destinies of men i want to pray now because i'm seeing people here there are people here you should have been 10 times better than you are now but there are chains holding you in the name of jesus at the count of three you will shout that name again and that chain must be set on fire one two three shout jesus I set those chains. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Over my life. Over my destiny. I stand fast in that liberty. And I refuse to be entangled again. Unto any yoke of bondage.
Who is Cordelia? Cordelia. I'm hearing a name, Cordelia. Who is Cordelia? Cordelia. Is that her name? Your name is Cordelia. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Cross River. Cross River. I want to pray for you. Your time of liberty has come. For you and your family. Haruz Kediata. Who is Ayuba? Ayuba. I'm hearing a name. Ayuba. Ayuba. Is there someone like that? We may not have all the time. Ayuba. Where is that? Where are you coming from? Huh? Sir, please come. No, 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 you don't have to remove your shoes, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? From Zaria. You're from Zaria here. Can I pray for you, sir? Yes. Because the Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. I need to pray for our Father, sir. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm seeing the devil wants to plant sickness in your body. First, high blood pressure, and then rheumatoid arthritis. We have to pray it away. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you. And I declare by the Spirit of grace, you are completely free. Free from high blood pressure, free from arthritis. In the name of Jesus, free from high blood pressure, free from arthritis in the name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. Why are they here? All of you that name? My dear, from Cross River, come. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this lady. Look at me. You return back a living wonder. The Lord himself, I release that grace. In the name of Jesus. Complete deliverance for your family and end comes. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is going to come on one of you. There is, there is a unique expression of God's grace on one of you. I'll pray for everyone but one of you. There is a grace you are about to drink from. I stretch my hands to you. Jane. Is it Jane? Jane or Janet? Something like that. We may not have the time. Our time is gone. I'm trying to work that we close on time. You know the times now. You are wearing like a yellow something with white. Is there someone like that? Come, madam. Where are you coming from? What's your name? My name is Janet. From where? From Zaria. Come. Shilaski Branda Ayo. 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 You are inside this auditorium. Ayo. Is I your male and female? Huh? What's your name? Ayomide. Is that your name? What's your name? Huh? Okay. I want to pray for you. Um, there is... This mama with the face mask, this one wearing... This come. Let me pray for you. No, 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 you can put up your face. Where are you coming from? From Kagoro. I want to pray for you. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. The Lord is doing a new thing. I stretch my hands and I declare. Oppression comes to an end over your life and over your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please stand up, ma. I rebuke the spirit of death. I'm seeing the month of June and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. I cancel it now. 
in the name of Jesus. Hear me, let me speak to you. Whoever digs a pit for you, may that person fall inside that pit. I say it again. Every manifestation of the spirit of death, looking for anyone's destiny, With long life shall I satisfy you and show you my salvation. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the grave is shut over you. In Jesus' name I pray. My dear, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace, the favor that needs to rest upon your life in this season. I declare over you, let it come now. There is an unction coming on you, my dear. You will never be the same. It's the favor of the Lord. It comes upon you. That lady holding a Bible. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on her. Step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will start having prophetic dreams prophetic encounters God will begin to reveal things for you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I pray for you my friend where are you coming from you are in Zaria here in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord show you mercy show you mercy show you his grace in Jesus name mama come it's time for your story to change where are you coming from come from Kaduna Kaduna, yes. you didn't come alone. Did you come alone? I'm seeing a boy. Where is he? Okay. You, are you a son? Did you come with her? Yeah, we came. We are, we are three. We are four. Uh-uh. You came with her. My question. Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? We are from a boy state, but we reside in Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. I want to pray for you. No, no, no. Just stand, Mama. You don't have to kneel, please. You see... Seasons can change. This is something I want you to know. And it's not only time that changes seasons. Prophecy can change seasons. Hallelujah. Mama, I want to pray for you. And for your son. And by extension the children. That in the name of Jesus, God will change your season. The Bible says, turn again the captivity. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I stretch my hands towards you and I declare grace, grace for you, for a change of season. For you, my friend, I want to pray. What do you do? You're a business person? Yes. Is that all you do? Let's keep on. Service. I want to pray for you. You are going to become a great leader. I stretch my hands. The grace for leadership. May that grace come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Drink of that grace. You will never be the same. It's an ignition. It will set you on fire. Your life will be turned into another man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, the pain that you feel around your abdominal region. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. it will never return to you again. Amen. And I want to pray. Well, when I'm praying for the sick, then you will come. Huh? That medical report will not kill you. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. It will not kill you. Where? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We have to pray against cancer. There are medical practitioners here. And this is a, it's an onslaught from darkness. To just attack people's destinies and destroy them. Very deadly evil. We have to rebuke that spirit. I hope I'm not wasting your time. In the name of Jesus. The spirit that backs cancer.
sending it to families, sending it to bodies to destroy and cut short the life of people. Help them. You see what is happening? In the name that is above all names, any family here that has been appointed that they would diagnose you or someone around your family with that evil right now in the name of Jesus wherever that arrow comes from we send it back to hell now we send it back to hell now those following online we send it back to hell now You are sick in your body, lay your hands there right now. We are doing our best to see that we do not so compromise on some of the COVID principles. There is only so much we can do. Lay your hands right there. Please expect a miracle right now. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. If it is a part of your body... You cannot touch. Just lay hands on your chest. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just lay hands on your chest. All those who are here under the anointing, I command the spirits that trouble you to go now. Go out of their lives, their families, forever. In the name of Jesus, I speak peace. I speak rest. Now, let it be gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. No divination and no enchantments against you will prosper. In the name of Jesus, let's pray for the sick. Let me tell you this. Look up, please. Every manifestation of sickness is a call of death, is a token of death. Are we together now? Because when sickness comes, the goal is not just to leave you sick. Now here and there, there are just biological occurrences here that can be managed just by good health exercise. But there are sicknesses you know. This one is not a medical condition. It comes under the guise of a medical condition. I want to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus, if you are standing for someone, please agree by faith. I'm seeing some of you lift photos. I really wish that we could lay hands on people and pray, but so that we may not have issues with authorities. I want to pray, but I want you to believe. Lay your hands. Believe by faith. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. This is the place of revival. Do to me what you want. This is the place where your life is changed. Do to me what you want. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil behind every disease, every sickness, every infirmity. I command be gone now in the name of Jesus. Be gone now in the name of Jesus. Then I decree and declare, be healed now. Help them please. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every oppression now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every bone condition. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Every blood condition in the name of Jesus be cleansed now. Every malfunctioning organ, hear the word of the Lord. We declare 
a supernatural creative miracle right now. Every cardiovascular issue in the name of Jesus be healed now. Everyone, especially those following online, some in hospitals, suffering from COVID-19, in the name that is above all names, we declare as the church of the living God, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be healed now. Be cleansed now. Be healed now. Be cleansed now. HIV, be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. My great headache, be healed now. Issue of blood, be healed now. Every kind of growth around your body, be healed now. Pile, be healed now. All sorts of ulcers, be healed now. Lump on your breast area or any part of your body, we cost it by the power that raised Christ from the dead. There's someone here you have, you have a problem with your breast. And already from the medical report, the way it is going, if God does not help you, they will have to cut it off. I pray right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be a supernatural miracle for you now. In the name of Jesus, a supernatural miracle now. There's someone, your body shakes. Like it looks like Parkinson's disease. But you are not old enough to have that kind of thing. And then it's not shaking under the anointing. This is a very demonic, demonic occurrence. The power of God is coming on you now. And that ends that, that evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every long standing issue. Issues that have refused to go. In the name that is above all names, they must answer to the word of God now. Let me pray for all of you who are lifting up the medical reports or the names of maybe loved ones that you are trusting God for. I stretch my hands, all of them who desire healing. In the name that is above all names, supernatural healing for them now. Supernatural healing for them now. Supernatural healing for them now. In the name of Jesus. Now, did you bring your prayer requests? Please, very quickly. Whilst everyone prays in the spirit, we are praying in the spirit. Ushers, PR, please help them very quickly in two, three minutes. Let's make this happen. If you are yet to write, write quickly. Those online. I'm sure we have received your prayer request. Please, let's have it very quickly. We need to pray. Whilst that is happening, everyone, please be in the mood of prayer. We are praying. We are praying. The meeting is still on. Overflow. One, two, three, four. Following online. Please lift your voice. Pray. Just hand over your request. Someone will be waving his or her hands. Ushers, please help them. PR, help them, please. Let's make this happen very quickly. Or someone can collect it on their behalf and just lift it up. Please. We're about to pray. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. 
Are you still praying? Father, my life must change. I came believing that you are able. Lift your voice and pray. Don't miss any moment in this service. Where are you coming from? Yes. Huh? Zaria here. Come. I want to pray for you. God is going to use you. He will use you for His glory. Don't despise yourself. You will be a mighty tool in the hand of God. I stretch my hands to you. Let grace be poured upon you. Don't cry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you will be used by God. And that illness that plagues you comes under judgment now. I command it to give way at the instance of the word. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, if you are yet, just wave yours. And someone, if no one has, is, is there to pick yours, just, just wave it. Those online following from whatever nation, connect by faith. We are praying now. Our usual culture is to ask to ask all of the people trusting God for miracles to come out and then we just spread some of the leaders and ministers to do a quick work but I doubt if we're going to be able to use 10 minutes to do that because sometimes ministering like that even though we make contact but it's going to be difficult and then so that it doesn't give an impression like we are not completely law abiding you know um, the times and the the laws of the land may not allow for that kind of contact so I hope you understand but by faith I want you to receive receive we may not have the time all of the time now but I want you to receive we're about to pray please let's have all the requests if you're writing write quickly because these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus, someone is waving. Please, ushers, be attentive to them. I hope there's someone collecting for overflow three by the roadside. Overflow two, is there someone doing that? Those of you who sent it through our media, our social media platforms, believe by faith. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Yahweh. 
Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known. Don't assume that he knows it. It says, let your request be made known. So this is a prophetic instruction, an act of faith, making our request known by writing it down, by bringing it before the altar of the Lord. We're coming to He who has the ability and the power to answer prayers. And whilst I bow my knees like Paul would do for the church in Ephesus, I'd like you to pray by faith and I'd like you to make strong decrees by faith that this Egyptian that I see today, you know what you wrote here. I'd like you to release your faith and say this is 2021. As a global family, this is our year of victory. It must speak in my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. 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 Sheba kataparus kadebalata. Shaprande ketemas kandipala. Ebra kotos soto parita bash. Lekete pranda kataprande ketebalados. name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I stand prophetically upon this request and I decree and declare that everything written here in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God let it return to you as testimony everything written Help those under the anointing. Miracles are already happening. Every breakthrough that is needed in your life, I release it to you in the name of Jesus. Every situation and every issue of concern, spying upon your liberty in Christ, in the name of Jesus, it is silenced now. It is silenced now. It is silence now. Whatever you wrote here that must end, we agree that it ends now. Whatever you wrote here that must begin, we agree that it begins now. Whatever you wrote here that must continue, we declare that it continues in the name of Jesus. Whatever you wrote here that must be judged, we declare judgment upon it now. 
In the name of Jesus. Listen. Whoever you stood in for here by faith, they may not have been able to make it and may not even be following online. But out of your compassion, you were able to involve them here. May the angel of the Lord's presence, may the good hand of God locate them wherever they are across this globe. And, and work wonders in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'd like you to receive the prophetic words. It's a season of victory. I want you to please believe. Words are powerful. I declare that from now, step into a season of joy and laughter. Step into a season of joy and laughter. It says, you have turned my mourning into dancing my sorrow to joy. I, I, I call to end the days of sorrow. I call to end the days of mourning. I appoint unto you a new season of laughter. In the name of Jesus, whatever represents stagnation in your life, that will not let you move forward. I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. And in the name of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In your career, go forward. In ministry, go forward. In business, go forward. In your academics, go forward. Hallelujah. I prayed over a church yesterday where I ministered the grace for visibility. The Bible says you are a city that is set on a hill. You see, one of the ways that God brings honor to you is to give you visibility. Visibility means he gives you an exalted platform where your gift, your grace, and your value can be discerned, can be engaged, and can be rewarded. We all need this in our lives. There are many gifted people without a platform that gives them visibility. When it was time for Jesus to enter into Jerusalem, he didn't say, well, I'm king of kings. He said, bring a donkey. I need something that elevates me. So that in that exalted position, I can have a triumphant entry. A triumphant entry cannot happen when your feet is still on the ground. It needs to be exalted. I prophesy to someone, in the name of Jesus, in this season, the supernatural platform that God would have to give your ministry, your business, to give you multiplied visibility. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus.